Hi everyone, I'm Aiko and today we're making enchiladas suizas. It's just one of my favorites. They have crema, salsa verde, and chicken. Let's make our salsa verde. I have green tomatillos, about 15, and we're going to roast them in this comal. Tomatillos, you peel the husk, then they're a little sticky, you rinse them in water. Half a medium onion, two garlic cloves, and a jalapeno. From all the salsas in Mexico, I prefer the salsa verde. It's milder, slightly sweeter. Everything's pretty roasted. I'm gonna put them in the blender. If you use the regular blender, be careful because it's very hot. So just pulse it a little bit and let it let the lid open at the beginning, and then you can continue and do it. Add one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and half a bunch of cilantro. Some people add a little bit of sugar to take care of the acidity, but it's up to you. Add one and a half cups of Mexican crema. for the enchilada suizas. My salsa verde with crema, check. Corn tortillas, about 12, and I bought them at the store. About a cup and a half of queso Oaxaca or uh, mozzarella cheese, either one is fine. And about two cups of cooked shredded chicken. I'm gonna quick fry my tortillas to make them more moist and supple and bendable. So I've been heating up my non-skillet for about seven minutes at medium high. So it's really hot now. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of vegetable oil or canola oil. Just a few seconds per side. You guys, this is the difference between an amazing tortilla or a yucky tortilla that is so dry like so. Look at that. that would, it doesn't matter what you put in this tortilla. It's going to be horrendous. It's all about the tortilla. And you can do two at the same time. Relax them like so. Well, now I'm going to finish all my tortillas, all right? To assemble our enchiladas, pour some sauce in the bottom of a heat-proof dish because we're going to put this in the oven. And I like to add about half a cup to my chicken so that it's nice and moist with the sauce. Let the rolling begin. My tortillas, I add about as little or as much chicken you would like so you can make your enchiladas generous and start rolling them and the seam side goes down you guys these are amazing my grandmother lived in Mexico City and every and we visit her often and one of the highlights of going to Mexico City to visit Mama Grande was enchilada suizas de Sanborns because they make amazing ones. You add some of your sauce and you bake them for about 30 minutes at a 350 degree oven. Some shredded cheese, of course. 
And I'm not worried that my cheese is chunky because it's going to melt in the oven. Oh my lord. Okay, a little more salsa because the salsa is the best part. And bake it for 25 to 30 minutes in a 350 preheated oven. Enchiladas Suizas. Is that a good combination of spice? 